<laughs> well, our wet weather, here's something else that's good. This year, it's actually being credited for Utah's beautiful fall leaves out there. ABC 4's Nate Larson looking at the science behind what makes the leaves change color and how the wet weather impacts it all, Nate. Take a drive into Utah's northern mountain areas and the hillsides are popping with vibrant color. This is the best time of year in Utah. We came up here just for like a change of scenery and just to be able to see all the pretty colors. Fall is the best here. I think this is Utah's like time to shine. Early fall is typically the best time to see changing leaves in northern Utah. Anticipating this year that peak color is going to be somewhere for northern Utah around the end of September and beginning of October and then for southern Utah uh, the mid-October to uh, early November should be peak. Shorter days and longer nighttime hours trigger trees and shrubs to start preparing for dormant months. What they're doing is they're slowing down chlorophyll production, which is the green pigment that we see in leaves uh, that's dominant throughout the growing season. Our wet weather this year is also playing a role in how colorful leaves are. We had great winter months in terms of moisture, followed by a nice wet spring, and then we had some really good monsoonal August rains that came through. So we tend to see more vibrant colors when we have uh, moist soil conditions, um, and that just coupled with our current weather, which are these uh, sunny autumn days, followed by by cool nighttime temperatures is when we tend to see the most vibrant colors. So why the different color of leaves? Leaves have different pigments masked by chlorophyll. In the case of carotenoids, which is our orange and our yellow, that pigment is no longer masked by chlorophyll. Okay. And then in the case of anthocyanins, which gives us our reds, our pinks, and our purples, that production picks up. And the ample soil moisture should help prolong the color season. So we're probably going to see a little bit longer of a color season this year yeah. because trees are kind of gradually and completely entering into dormancy where if we have a really dry summer then we tend to see that the leaves color uh, sooner in the year and that our color length or the color season isn't quite as long. This will give more Utahns a chance to get out and enjoy fall colors. I like to go up on Gartman. Yeah, just because it's it's close. Um, you can go from Park City over to Midway and Heber and you get kind of all of the foliage as you go all the way up there and then all the way back down. The midway hike is another favorite. It's a little bit up there but it's yeah. the most incredible like grounding like trees just it's it's magical. And you can drive right to it that's the best part is you drive right to the trailhead you get out of your car and you're up in the changing foliage like immediately. Nate Larson ABC4 News. All right, we thank you, Nate. Well, if you're still hoping to get outside and check out the colorful leaves, you can head over to our website, abc4.com. We have compiled a list of the best spots to enjoy Utah's beautiful fall landscape for you.